So when you're tracing a short in a system like this, it's good to take a picture of your low voltage wires. <clears throat> um, in this case, I had a dead short to ground on R, Y1, Y2, and G. But in real life, there's probably actually only a short on one of those wires and it's just feeding through the thermostat because the thermostat is calling for cooling. So with these wires disconnected, I can then see if the problem is in the unit here or if it's in the low voltage wiring. Um, in this case, it's definitely in the low voltage wiring. And so what I've done here is just put my meter in continuity mode and I'm checking from ground to each of the different calls. So we should not have anything to R, we should not have, well we have 17 ohms there, but that's the contactor coil, so that's okay. This is where the problem actually was. It was reading zero ohms on Y2. W1 is fine, W2 is fine, G is fine. C will also have continuity because that's just the other side of the contactor. So between Y1 and Y2 you might be reading the contactor coil, so you might get somewhere around 17 ohms. I then followed the wire from the Y2 call across to the economizer, and you can see our problem is right here it has rubbed through so we'll just have to fix that and then it should be good to go so now we have the problem corrected on this side of the system I went ahead and hooked the wiring back up onto the control board restored power to the unit reset the tripped 5 amp fuse and the unit is now running just like it should so um, it was clearly just a low voltage problem on the unit itself but that can really save you a lot of time if you're not sure where the short is in the system. Separating the thermostat wiring from the system really helps because it cuts your troubleshooting in half. I didn't have to do anything to the thermostat or anything to the wire going into the building um, because I knew right away after separating it and checking my ohm ratings across those that the problem was in the unit and not with the thermostat wiring. So anyway, I hope that this helps you out and I will talk to you guys later. Nothing like happy air conditioners on a hot day, cooling beautifully.